there was a young man and he was a prince and he went traveling and he met a young woman and they fell amazingly fantastically in love and while he was there word came that his father who was the king was desperately ill and he had to go home but before he left her he gave her his ring as a memorial as a betrothal and said he'd come back for her or he'd send for her as soon as he could and they would be together so off he went he got home and his father was incredibly ill and in fact not long to live and his father said I have only one request from you son I have chosen the girl I'd like you to marry and the son could no more do anything other than just say yes that he would do it and his father died word was sent to the king's chosen bride for his son and all was arranged and the young woman his true betrothal she heard about this and she went into a decline it was like she was just fading away and her father watching this was heartbroken and he said is there anything I can do anything anything I can do to help at all just tell me and his daughter thought about it and then she went to him and she said find me 11 young women who look much as such as I do father couldn't quite understand this request but but he did he found 11 young women and when they were all gathered the 12 of them she organized huntsmen's outfits for them and they all dressed as men young good-looking and all 12 rode out together now these young women were also good huntsmen and they rode to where her sweetheart was they arrived there and she presented herself and she said here I am and my 11 huntsmen and we would like to be your huntsmen and the young king looked at these 12 handsome young men and thought well let's see how you hunt and they hunted well and so he said yes why wouldn't he but in that kingdom the young king had a lion and that lion could speak and it could see the truth of things and so the lion said to the young king you think you have 12 young huntsmen but you do not you have 12 maidens and the young king said no absolutely not and the lion said roll a dish of peas through this antechamber and then call on those young huntsmen here and you will see because young maidens are dainty of foot and the peas will roll and they will roll and you will see they are women now there was a servant in that area who liked these young huntsmen and the servant went and told them what the lion had said and so they agreed when they went to the antechamber they would step with a strong sure tread and they would show themselves to be huntsmen and that is what happened the next morning they arrived strode through the antechamber and there was the young king and off they went hunting the young king looked at the lion before he went and said hmm you're wrong 
That evening when he came back, the lion said, I'm not wrong, they're maidens. Fill this antechamber with spinning wheels and young maidens will be hard pressed not to look at them. Check out how they work. Young men won't care. But that servant told the young huntsman again. And so they were all stealing themselves to make sure that when they went into the antechamber the next day, not one of them cast a glance at a spinning wheel. Straight up to the young king. Ah, and where do we hunt today, king? And off they went. The young king, last to leave, turns back and looks at the lion and goes, wrong again. Past your best, I think, lion. And with that, he turned away and the lion left. While they were out hunting that day, though, word came that his betrothed, his father's choice, was on her way and she was about to arrive. Now when his young, true betrothed huntsman heard that, any disguise was gone. She fell from her horse and all her young huntsmen around her. The young king ran up to see what was amiss. And as she opened her eyes, and as he removed the gloves from her hand to chafe her hands and bring life back to her, he saw the ring that he had given her. And when he looked again at the face, it was like a veil came away and and he saw who she really was and looked around and saw all these young women. And he looked back at his true beloved and said, I am thine and you are mine and no one shall come between us. And so word was sent to the young woman who he had never met and who had never met him to please turn around and go home. And that's the story of the 12 huntsmen.